Hi everyone, it's Jasmine here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make Brazilian cheese bread. My kids have been uh, requesting for this one. It is actually one of their favorite snacks. And I used to prepare this when I uh, still cook for my international uh, students, uh, guests who stay uh, with us in the house. But since I stopped uh, cooking for uh, our guests, I haven't made this uh, Brazilian cheese bread as well. I stopped making it. So anyways, um, I'm off today. It's Saturday morning and uh, there's no better thing to do on a rainy Saturday morning here in Vancouver. And I thought of just preparing my kids' favorite snack. So it's just gonna be a lazy day today. And for them anyways, because their mom is going to make their favorite snack. So it's so easy and also the ingredients are very simple. I'm going to walk you through it. And I'm pretty sure that if you're going to prepare this for your family, they will also uh, going to love it. So these are the ingredients for our um, Brazilian cheese bread. I'll be using a package of tapioca starch. This is equivalent to 400 grams. Cheddar cheese. You can use any uh, cheese of your choosing. I just, this is what we have in the fridge. So this is what I'm going to use. Parmesan cheese, water, eggs, milk, salt, and cooking oil. Now I'm going to prepare the ingredients. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to boil the water to melt. And the salt. So once it's about to, to boil, we're going to take it off the heat right away. And we're going to pour it into our tapioca flour. So I'm just going to pour half first. And then we're gonna mix it thoroughly. So I'm pouring the remaining half of the liquid mixture. And I will continue to mix all these ingredients together very well. And at this time, I'm going to add the cheddar cheese and the uh, parmesan cheese. So we're gonna continue mixing all the ingredients together until they are all well incorporated.
So once all the ingredients and the cheese are well incorporated into our dough, now it's time for uh, to form them into balls. So when I'm going to this, I'm going to thoroughly wash my hands and dry it really well and I'm going to uh, uh, put grease on my hand I'm going to use a cooking oil so that I could form the uh, dough into balls So the Brazilian cheese balls are ready for baking. I'm going to bake it for about uh, 15 minutes or until it turns slightly golden brown. Here you go guys, our Brazilian cheese bread ready to be enjoyed. So this is perfect with uh, cream cheese or any jam of your choosing. And perfect on a day like this.